Nineteen. Wow, that was uh, a long time. It was, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll ask you about leaving in a minute, but uh, while you're at Leicester, you, you uh, had some fantastic memories, I would imagine, and probably starting with uh, the fact that you represented England at under 16, under 17 and under 18 level. Yeah, yeah, I would say that those, that is probably the highlight of my career so far. Um, I remember first getting called off, I was just at school at the time, and the teacher came up to me and said, you need to go home because you've got an England game to play, and I was like, what? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> that's fantastic. And who was that against? Uh, that was against Scotland in the FA, um, Victory Shield. Oh, in the Victory Shield, yeah. yeah. And did you win? Yeah, that was the final game when we won the cup. Oh, fantastic. So that, that, do you remember medal? Um, no, we didn't get a medal. We got, I think we got a cap. Oh, we got a cap? Yeah, it was yeah. just a little cap, that's what it was. Ah, oh, fantastic. And uh, th then you continued the next season, and uh, you, I presume that at that stage you left school and you went on to an apprenticeship scheme at Leicester City, is that right? Yeah, I left school, but during school as well, we'd have time off um, from classes just to go to training. Yeah. So that was good. And then left school, did my scholarship, and then I got my. I got offered my pro contract when I was still in my scholarship, so that was probably one of another happy times in my career as well. Fantastic. Now, we we were talking to Andy about the, the FA Youth Cup, and uh, last night, obviously, the Scholars here they had a fantastic win over Boston United uh, through to the next round, and they, they're doing really well. And, and you've got some really good memories of the FA Youth Cup as well. I think you got to the semi final with Leicester. Yeah, we did. We got to the semi final. That was probably one of the hardest games we've ever played, to be fair, because obviously Man City got a lot of foreign um, players and the way that they play is very technical, so it was hard to keep up with all. Um, but I thought we did the best that we could and obviously we just couldn't get the further that we got. But that, that certainly would go down to the memory banks, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And was that a, a over a two-leg uh, occasion, was that? Yeah, that was two-leg. We had um, the game at theirs and then the last game was at ours. And luckily enough, it was on TV as well. So. I got to play live in tally. Yeah, fantastic. So, you, you you went through your apprenticeship and you got to sign a proper full professional contract with Leicester and you were there, you sort of had two years as a full-time professional and you were there when you, you won the Premiership. Were, were you involved in any of those celebrations or was it kept separate from you? No, they were quite, they kept us quite in the, uh, in, in the background really. It was more of just the first team players and, and just their them not celebrating all together, but obviously we did see um, the atmosphere around the club. It was buzzing, it was buzzing at the time. And uh, did you ever sort of get to train with the first team? Were you ever sort of get to play the first team friendly games at all, or were you mainly sort of under 21s? Um, no, we got to train with the first team quite a bit um, during the week, but when it comes to game time, it was mainly just, just the first team players playing. Um, so, unfortunately, no, I didn't get to make my debut at Leicester at all really, so yeah. But uh, certainly left me some, some fantastic <laughs> memories. Now, you, you, was it a real blow to be released or were you expecting it? Because I was watching the V9 Academy programme that that series was on and uh, they, they talked to players who were professional clubs and what a blow it was for them to be released and they're trying to get back in the professional game. How was it for you when uh, you got that sort of not to go and see the manager? Um, well, I got told a bit before everybody else because of my injuries and everything. Um, so I was, quite, I was kind of expecting it already because I hadn't played for, um, I think it was 13 months at the time, so I, I had a good idea in my head that I wasn't going to get my contract extended, but yeah, it was a big blow, especially because I was there for a long time as well. I thought I would have made my, um, my debut for my home city as well. So. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, you're obviously sort of released, you knew it was going to happen. You were here towards the end of last season and uh, certainly got over the injury, started to play some games and uh, certainly Tamworth were, were, were making your offer but I think one of the things you wanted to do was to try and stay the full time game so you, you went to Bristol Rovers, how did things go there? Yeah that was probably uh, not a good decision to be fair, <laughs> um, I, I chose to just try it around a bit because I'd never done that before, um, Bristol Rovers said that they'll take me on trial so I tried to go there, they told me to come back another week and then uh, the manager texted me saying the, the chairman and the director are not signing any more players and I've already turned down the first offer from Tamworth which, um, which was disappointing as well. So obviously you, you get, gave Andy a ring did you say look really sorry I can uh, I can sign now? <laughs> yeah I texted him I was like sorry guy. Um, I'll be coming back to you now. So, yeah. <laughs> 
Well, it's great to have you, but what, why, why Tamworth? Is it because you, you've sort of got used to it here? Do you, do you see real potential for your career being here and back at Tamworth? Yeah, um, obviously it's a good club, good atmosphere, fans are amazing as well. Um, I've enjoyed the, the two spells that I came before and the, play, the players are all over there, just getting used to it a bit. Um, and I think this club can get promotion to be honest, yeah. so I'd like to be here if, if we ever did get promotion as well. Chalk up another success and uh, memory for you as well. Yeah. Get that promotion. Well, you're back at Tamworth now. You, you think we, we can make progress? We'd really appreciate you coming over, and we hope that uh, when you start running on Thursday, you need training, it goes well, and you're back. We'll back, see you back on that green stuff very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Fox. Thank you.